Our next guest warns that an AI-fueled job apocalypse is on the horizon. Let's bring in Saul Khan. He's the CEO of the Khan Academy. In his latest piece for the New York Times, Saul makes the pitch that every company benefiting from automation should dedicate 1% of profits to help retrain workers who will be displaced by AI. Sal, first of all, thanks for being here. Um, second of all, this is a pretty radical proposal, but let's lay out what you think is happening. Um, why you think this job apocalypse is coming? Yeah, I, you know, as soon as generative AI became a big thing, obviously this has been a big debate. Will we have net lost jobs, net gain jobs? Um, and living out here in Silicon Valley, most people have been on, hey, this is going to be like the Industrial Revolution. We'll just, you know, there'll, there'll be jobs. We can't name them, but they'll, they'll happen. But what we're seeing now, you know, in that op-ed I talk about seeing the Waymos in my neighborhood, and that's cool. But then I go and meet with a friend who, who is thinking about uh, contributing 1% of his firm's profits for re reskilling. And, and his motivation was he's uh, taken over a call center in the Philippines, and he's going to be laying off 80% of, of the workforce and replacing them with an AI. Uh, that's, that's 7 to 10% of the Filipino GDP directly. Um, driving some form of a vehicle is four to five million workers just in the United States. It's the biggest, one of the biggest sources of employment for men globally, including in the United States. Um, and even if you look at white collar jobs, we, a lot of people are talking about and seeing what's happening in software engineering right now. It seems kind of frozen. Uh, the, things like product management, design, we're seeing that those jobs are at least changing. Uh, you, you're not seeing a lot of net hiring. If, if anything, there's a lot of uh, things going the other way. And, and the only way to, to think about how to navigate this, I think if folks wait too long, uh, the political winds are going to switch. Uh, we've already seen that populism uh, can, can, can get a lot of momentum off of things like globalization and immigration. Uh, I think autom automation is going to hit a lot harder. And you know, 1% isn't without precedent. As I mentioned, my one of my friends, he hasn't announced it yet. That's why I'm not naming their firm, but it's a major firm. Uh, there's Ares Capital, uh, another major asset manager. They have a, a, a class of funds, several billion dollars under management, where they're giving 5% of their uh, promote uh, to uh, uh, philanthropy for, they're doing healthcare and education, but that's related to reskilling. So the, the pitch here is it's in, it's in company's best interest. This isn't going to be just, you know, hope isn't a strategy here. We have to get ahead of the curve. Uh, the the benefits of doing something significantly weigh out the alternative. And I think if, if we don't do something, politics are going to take over, and that's going to be worse for everyone.